Good evening time, everybody. Hope you're all doing all right out there this evening. Please take time to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're not already. I'd like to invite you to join us on the YouTube channel members, Patreon channel members, discounts, giveaways, perks. Check out our merch store. Big shout out to our, big shout out to all of our um, YouTube and Patreon channel members. Hope y'all doing all right out there. Alrighty, guys, this video is for a personal project I've been working on. I'm gonna share with you guys. Uh, normally, don't show the inside of things, but we'll show this. Um, we are looking at a donkey's tonker, 4,500 amp, regulated power supply. First off, guys, before we go any further, big shout out to my friend over at Beard Amps, Frankie Beard, and his family. He made these brackets for me for this project. Also, I can do it, but I don't like to do it, and he did it for me. He converted every one of these modules and load tested them one at a time. So a big shout out to Mr. Beard and Beard Amos. He's part of this, making this possible. So just wanted to get that out there, guys. Beard Amos, heck of a power supply guy. Heck of a, a tool and die shop. He makes all cabinets. He does a little bit of everything. He's a little bit of everything and all his stuff's nice, every bit of it. So guys, what we're looking at here is 40, 1400s, okay? 40 of them. And I about goofed up because I about run out of room. I used all eight gauge, sky high wire. There's some things that I did on this that I normally wouldn't do on a, maybe a customer build. Like all these right here I had laying around. I used a lot of stuff that I had already. Like I could have looked better if them wasn't double hold and stuff like that. But these are two 1500 amp shunts, which is a a little bit lower when I'm with the power supplies right there, but it'll be all right. That's the biggest chunks I could get. So they're 1,500 amps each. And actually they're on about 2,250 amps each of power supplies. So if you figure it up, I can't remember what it was. Let's say 120 amps, 40 of them. That's 4,800 4, amps of power supply. Well, you know there's gonna be loss because of the wires and the uh, uh, the wiring and just stacking up like that and everything. So I'm gonna call them 4,500 amps. And I'm, ain't no doubt in my mind, the supply, I loaded up 10 at a time with my 500 amp just to check it. There ain't no doubt in my mind it will run 4,500 amps. I just don't know if my electricity would do that or not. I might run out of AC before I get there, but each, each unit's been load tested at 117 amps per unit at 14.8 volts. And then I tested just for curiosity. I hooked up 10 of them at a time with 500 amps just to double check. So I know somebody's gonna say, oh, if you ain't a load tester, it ain't real. If you got a 4,500 load tester, bring it on. But I'm not gonna go buy four 1,000 amp load testers. Now I might go buy one 1,000 I thought about doing that and hooking them up with 10 sections at a time and check it a thousand at a time. But I'm not gonna go buy four 1,000 load testers just to check this. But anybody who wants to call bull crap, bring your load testers on, we'll see. So, there it is. 2,000, 2,000. Of course you got four grounds on the chunks. This is a blowing in. This is pulling out, which was plenty of air. Done been there and done that. But this is for me. I didn't do this to like show out or nothing. I had to go ahead and build my power supply. I ain't got my beam up yet, back up. But I had to go ahead and build my power supply. And the reason why is because I didn't have no shop supply big enough to run to work on like a 32 pill or a 64 pill or whatever, and or 48 pills, them kind of sort of things. So it forced me to go ahead. I sold mine that used to sit right here, which forced me to go ahead and do it. So that's what it's about. It's my new bench supply, plus I'm gonna hook them leads to one side of it, plus my uh, supply for my future build. I've got to get my beams up, and then I'm gonna build a box to run on this. That's coming, because as y'all know, it's almost 64 pill. That's my 16 pill, it's gonna be a driver. So just for kicks and curiosity and all that stuff, I've got it for you turn on half of it at a time. And 
sometimes you can see just when I first turned it on, I can see just a little bit of a load on the light, nothing big. So it's kind of a redneck soft start. Then turn the other half. Right behind it. You can see what's going on. We got 15 on one on them meters at 15.1. These 2000 amps got a six fire cap hooked up on it, just try to smooth it out. This is what I was looking forward to. We got 40 green lights, 20 over here, and 20 over here. And no, uh, no side rings or fans going crazy or nothing like that. And the meters are working. This is what it looks like. Of course, these little cheap meters, you know, I'm sure they're within one, but 14.8, sitting over here, 15.0. I think it's more like a. 14.8, 14.9, or somewhere in there. But that just lets you know it's all working. Of course, I've got my 1,000 amp meters is all the, all the gauges go to, but I put times two. They're actually 1,500 amp shunts, so we'll see what happens. We'll worry about it when we peg them. I don't really care if they peg or peg. I doubt they will because my old supplies never just go up to over 3,400 no matter what I did with 1,000 amps, so I doubt they'll ever peg. But like I said, guys, I don't even really know if I've got the electricity to run this, how much I can run. But you see my power cords, I've got two 8-gauge power cords, 8-3 coming in. And it got to the point that they wasn't worrying about how neat they was. Then we're supposed to kick off after a minute. Wasn't worried about how neat they was. It got to the point it was worrying about how am I going to fit all of it in there. If I did this for a customer, I might actually tell them to put it in two different cabinets because it's just tight, 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 tight. But for me and for who it's for, I, like I said, I used a lot of my stuff that I had. I had a lot of used parts and ends and stuff laying around where I've bought stuff over the years from different people and sorts. And I used what I had here. That way I didn't have to buy or spend a bunch of extra money. It took me a while to save up all 40 of them units. 40, 14 hunters, let up green. I just want to share this with you guys. Thought y'all might enjoy it. Like I said, if somebody wants to call me out on it, bring you load testers. But I'm not going to go buy four 1,000 load testers and hook to it. It just ain't going to happen. I might do a 1,000 sometime or another. I need to go buy a 1,000 anyway. I might do a 1,000 and the way I've got it, I can take them copper bars off and separate it and do a 1,000 on each 10. That would get me up to 4,000 to check it. So, But I know it's there and y'all know it's there. I said, we got eight gauge wire coming out of each unit. A lot of these guys are using 14 and 16 gauge wire. I've seen that. Man, I don't know how they're expecting their 14 gauge wire to run 100 amps. It does, but I couldn't ever get by with it. I got eight gauge OFC copper sky high. And I've got 16 gauge power cords, all AC power cords. And what I did is I put 10 of them at a time and put them to eight gauge each one. 10 at a time, 8 gauge, 10 at a time, 8 gauge, and hook them to my breakers. Got 100 amp breakers up here on the front. 100 amp worth of breakers. So 50 amps on each 20, which that's pushing it too, but that's okay. That's all the electricity I'm gonna have. I think I figured it up. It wants like 363 amps to run it at full bore at 4,500 amps. And I'm on 200 amp entrance, so that's not gonna happen. I probably got 100 amps coming to it maybe, so. You know, we could probably still get up there pretty good. But it, it would do 4,500 amps. So we got a 4,500 amp power supply. Say, so guys, this might be the biggest power supply in amateur radio in the world. I don't know. I'm not going to say it is or ain't. It's the biggest one I know of. And I didn't build it for that reason. I just built it because of a, I needed it. Thank you again to Beard Amps, Frankie Beard, him and his family, him and his wife, did some great work. He converted these because I was too lazy to. And he made these brackets and he's actually, he actually made these brackets. Uh, Mr. Beard is part of this. So I just wanted to kind of share that. I didn't have to, but he didn't tell me to or anything like that, but I'm just letting y'all know. Mr. Beard is part of this. So there it is, guys. I just want to share it with you. Uh, I'm fixing to put the lid on it. I probably have to squeeze it together to get the lid on there because it's so tight. But, uh, biggest power supply I know of I've ever seen since I've been in radio. So, 
It'll run what I'm going to run, no problem. What I've got in mind, that's a surprise. Y'all just have to wait and see. I'm going to get my beams up. You just have to wait and see my amp coming up. Or amps. I'll just leave you a little hint. Amps, not amp. It will be amps. So, there you go, guys. Hope y'all enjoyed looking at that. Big shout out to Frankie Beard and Beard Amps. Alrighty, guys. Please take time to like and subscribe to YouTube channel if you're not already. I'd like to invite you to join us on YouTube channel membership, Patreon channel membership, discounts, giveaways, perks. Check out our merch store. Check us out at donkey, donkey, donkey stomper.com. Y'all take care of your friend 10 0 one